Hello friends, Sam Chi. Compliments of the season. Yeah, Christmas is loading, guys. I'm telling you. Yes, another things I'll be telling you about those who have negative, those who they say, ciao, vibe, 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 because you're having negatives. Good news, man. All right, another things that will be blowing your mind. Please, just watch till the end. It's important, you know? All right, if you're here for the first time, why don't you subscribe? Because yeah, you get information that'll keep you informed and updated. You know, information is key. You know, knowledge, no knowledge is a waste. I'm telling you, every knowledge you gain today will help someone tomorrow and even you yourself. So that's why knowledge is important. Information, yeah. Thank you to my friends who have already subscribed and you who is watching also subscribe, man. One love to you all. Remember to share to your friends on WhatsApp, Facebook, okay? Thank you very much. Yes, going straight deep down here yeah, on a harder note. You see, something happened yesterday. The Emir of Zamfara, you know, uh, Sanusi Mohammed, the Emir. I'm telling you, he was on his way from Abuja back to his place, you know, his palace. Uh, do we even have good palace? Those ones are the palace. Well, we'll call them palace too. All right, so he was on his way back. I'm telling you, these headsmen laid ambush, lying down in the bushes area, lying down there, waiting to strike. So he and his convoy, they never knew that something like that is, is, is awaiting them there. So what happened? There was heavy gunfire. <laughs> About three police officers lost their life. Because they were not, they were not at a lot, you know. It's when it comes to go and shooting or send people, they are always at a lot. Happy trigger men. But now, three of these policemen lost their life. The driver of the Emir lost his life, and um, one other of his chief, well, all those chief, uh, all those his chief in his palace, he also lost his life. And other one other guy like that who accompanied him, yes, two palace guards, yeah, also lost their life because they were taken unaware. But one shocking thing he said was that the villagers were in the other side. They saw these headsmen, you know, these bandits hiding when they took position, lying down on the on the bushes there. But they never alerted anybody. They were just there watching, just to see the action, the movie that is going to play out. So after everything, the Emir have to, you know, I don't know how he managed to escape to the police station. There he's taking refuge, but I don't know what has happened to him now. Maybe he has found his way back to the palace, or maybe I don't know. So that is it. You see, the question is this: How did those bandits know that the Emir will be passing through that route? That means it was something about the information. Somebody informed them, man, to go and hide there and strike this man dead. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is it. No one is safe in Nigeria anymore. So now you see it's affecting equally the rich, the high and the mighty. If they can kidnap people who sell vegetable, even chicken, who sell little things or for just 10,000 naira, uh, 5,000 naira, 50, little money. Then also the big, the rich are also in trouble. The country is consumed now with violence. They're all angry because this is what you get when you make your citizens poor, 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 poverty everywhere. They can just take out, take up violence. You know, criminal, criminality will be the order of the day. So they have to work on employing people, trying to make the country better for everybody. You know, that's it. Tell me your opinion, okay? All right, moving straight. Remember that next year, 31st of January, try to go renew your ease or else those bonuses you are taking, baby bonus, others kind of bonuses, and once you soon apply, even in the near future, you will not even that January citizenship, all those things, will be disactivated if you don't renew that easy in time. So remember that is a January 31st. Do that, okay? Start booking. Once you get to January, start booking because they, they, they have this rush, you know, that rush where you see crowd in the car for the CGIL. So book yours in time, in time. Get your, what they call it, Jachensa Media from the poster, you know, that one-year statement of account. So they'll be needing it. So get these things ready, okay, by that January so they can renew in time so that the money will not stop coming. It's important. Yes. All right. One crazy thing I don't even understand happening now. People in Torino, what's the problem? You know, you see people who have gotten negative, they give them as much as four years, you know, for the appeal. Some of them three years, two years. Imagine adding these years to the number of years you've already spent. That's a whole whooping years. This is mental frustration. I'm telling you, psychological trauma. You, you, how do they expect these people to feel? It's crazy. Man, ha, other countries are not like that, you know. It's always closer. But this one, four years, three years, that's what people in Torino are facing. Well, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. If you ask me, then who will I ask? Yeah, so that's it. Let's pray that things get better. You know, they say they change the law, but I don't see anything important. Because if you say people still renew with contract, man, the, the, the problem is still there. It's still there, you know? All right, so now, one thing you should know is that uh, if you're having a Zillow, 
and your husband doesn't have document. You can give your husband document. As easy as that. One important thing is that so long as both of you are legally married and both of you are residing in Italy, you know, residing in Italy, so that will qualify you. The only thing you have to do is just go to meet a lawyer, a well-qualified lawyer, trained lawyer, not all this cock, uh, the charge on bail, you know, get an immigration lawyer who is going to help you uh, present the issue to the questor and the rest of them. And you see your husband getting motivo di familiare, maybe two years, one year, anyone is documented, you can see convert it to autonomous. You know, if he finds a job, he converts it to lavoro subordinato. Then the other way around, those other categories, yeah, you can give your partner a document if you are working also. You know, you are married in comune, and then you go meet a lawyer. Your lawyer will now use everything, your code booster paga, and apply. And your husband will be getting document, or your wife, any, any of them. So that's one thing you should also know. And also, one thing I would like you guys to know, always look at the information in your document. You know, your uh, residence permit. Check the nationality, the place of birth. Check whether it corresponds with other documents you're having, like your Codice Fiscale and your Carta de Identita. If it doesn't correspond, so that you start knowing how to correct the errors. Especially those of you who have errors in your uh, Nigerian passport. I've told you, a guy is here who can help you guys to fix it. You know, he has the contact. So please, if you're having errors, you want to change name, place of birth, uh, your name, whatever. Somebody can help you, okay? All right. Now, moving straight. Now, those of you who are having negative, good news, man. The European Union, in their parliament, you know those commissioners, those ones in their parliament there, they have discovered that giving people negative, especially Italy here, who gives negative and tell people, ciao, vai, 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 leave the camp, leave the camp, you know, some camps, just one negative, they'll say, leave, 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 leave to where? Leave to where? No job, no money, nothing. They go to the street, you know, engaging in shorty, other illegalities. You know, even, you know, living a frustrated life because sometimes the appeal comes two years, three years after. Man, it's terrible. Now, just to inform you guys that, look, uh, the creator historic, quatro, you know, they, they have quattro, they have cinque. That's the fifth one. We'll be coming up maybe around January. So, guys, you should expect it by subscribing, man. So, I'll be, by that time, you'll not be losing when it is dropping hot, okay? So, that you benefit, you know, it's 1,000 euro. And also, remember that... Um, those of you who are working from January, you'll be seeing an uh, addition of 100 euro bonus in your booster paga. They'll be giving that from next year. January, you'll be seeing the booster paga reflecting those 100 euros. So they are dashing you guys. I've forgotten the name of the bonus, how they called it, okay? So expect that one too, automatically. You don't have to do anything to get it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Okay, now, moving straight. So now they are saying that um, they are going to set up camps, you know, like setting up camps so that these people who are going to be given negative will not be thrown to the street. So at least they could be kept in these camps. So at, until at least they have known their... So now, you see, they'll be making this law. They said they'll be making this law by next year so that, you know, so when it is now a law, it will be backing it strongly, man. So that's good news. So we don't have to be in the street anymore for just having negative. They say, bye, bye, bye. Though some regions don't send their people away, why some people do it after one or two negatives like that, you know? So now this is good news, man. Now, a warning, if you have in your document, you have given your document five years, two years, whatever, do not go to another country to seek asylum. By, by doing that, you're going to kill that document because they have a way of delaying you and frustrating you. At the end of the day, the document expires and they still don't tell you, go away. By the time you come back, it will be difficult for you to get back that document unless you have to get a strong lawyer. I'm telling you this. So don't go. Stay here, find a job. Even if you have to go, try to look for a way to find a job there instead of going there to seek another asylum. It's not good at all. Many of Many people have killed their document just like that. Now they are left frustrated. Italy is good and sweet. Look at bonuses. Look at how they are helping their people. Like if Italy is really improving, I'm telling you for real, Italy is improving. Not like before, you know. Not like before. All right, I mean, you're truly chi. Show me love by liking my video. Uh, subscribe, please. Press the bell for more notifications. Remember to share to your friends on WhatsApp, Facebook. All right, tell me what you think in the comment section. I'll be there waiting for you as usual. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I'm signing out. I'm chi. Ciao.